Welcome to Cosmos Paint, where we explore the fascinating world of art through the lenses of psychology and philosophy. Here, we delve into the depths of meaning, time, and significance that each work carries, bringing a new perspective to your artistic appreciation. Get ready for a journey of discoveries and reflections on the transformative power of art. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, with that artistic touch, subscribe now and don't keep it just to yourself. Share it with friends and family. And of course, don't forget to activate the notification bell to receive alerts whenever we publish new videos. They say that eyes are the windows to the soul. It makes sense. In this video, it is not our intention at all to define what each gaze in the selected works means. That would be an immense presumption. We simply want to say, the gaze speaks in one way or another, eyes speak. One may fall in love with another person because of their voice. However, it is through the gaze that the soul is affected. The gaze goes beyond seeing, beyond the visibility of things, because it crosses the physical dimension and enters the symbolic universe. From our perspective, throughout art history, the eyes have held a special place in the body. Eyes speak, they speak of everything. They even speak in silence. The gaze is present in all aspects of human life, and it is no surprise to find the gaze in Greek mythology, for example. One of the great representatives in Greek mythology regarding the gaze is Medusa. She was a female chthonic monster, one of the three Gorgons. Medusa was mortal, and anyone who looked directly at her would be turned to stone. She was decapitated by the hero Perseus, who later used her head as a weapon until he gave it to the goddess Athena, who placed it on her shield. Another noteworthy reference is the gaze in the biblical context. There are many passages that speak of the gaze from a spiritual perspective. In the teachings of Jesus, there is a special reference to the gaze when he said in Matthew 6.22, the eye is the lamp of the body. So, if your eye is healthy, your whole body will be full of light. Another biblical text, now from the Old Testament, is from the Song of Solomon 6, 5, when the Shulamite, speaking to her beloved, says, Turn away your eyes from me, for they overwhelm me. Songs, poetry, philosophy, psychology, and various paths and environments all speak of eyes and gaze as relational expression, as a place, as an experience, as a lived reality. It couldn't be different in works of art, Artists of various styles throughout all times have always placed eyes and gaze as central elements in their works. From our perspective, it is in the corporeality destined for expressing fluids in their viscosity of this speaking body, where the gaze finds its most significant point. This is what we had to say about this extraordinary topic. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of art at Cosmos Paint. We hope you have found inspiration and new perspectives for your own artistic explorations. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future philosophical and psychological adventures in the art universe. As we continue with the presentation, enjoy with your eyes, feel with your soul, and absorb in spirit and body. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.